What's up, guys? I'm Youngsters Game One. I'm back with Pokemon Red Part 12, and uh, my friend Nathan told me that um, the volume was good, that he thought it was good. So I think we're just gonna keep it like this because no one else um, commented on the matter. Anyway, um, today is Saturday as I'm recording this, and it should probably be uploaded Saturday as well. And today is the first day of my spring break, so I am very, very happy about that. Oh my gosh, I um, I used to play lacrosse, but I quit like a week and a half ago because I was not having fun. It was a coaching change, and it was just. I don't know, it was just not as fun anymore. And also, like, none of the kids cared. But, um, so now I have nothing to do all spring break. Like, or, I have stuff to do, but, like, nothing that I have to do. So, literally, I just have nine days, basically, where I can do whatever I want. And I'm gonna make a lot of videos and do a lot of other stuff, too. But I'm just very, uh, excited to have a lot of fun. And, um, we can't go here yet. This is the third gym right here. Um, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Surge is the gym leader. He's a, uh, electric type gym leader. But, um, we can't get here because this tree. Uh, so we need cut. And in order to get cut, you're gonna have to go and travel onto the SSN, which if you don't remember when we visited Bill in like part maybe ten. Um, how is anyone supposed to read this sign? Because you can't even go in front of it. Um, we got a ticket to go on the SSN, so we're gonna do that. And because the Cutmaster, who can teach us cut or give us the HM of cut, uh, it lives or he doesn't live here. He's a captain maybe of this ship. I don't know. He's on this ship for whatever reason, one reason or the other. I think he's a captain or something. But um, can I talk to you? Uh, SSN, it's a famous luxury cruise ship, okay. I don't know why I always just need to talk to everyone, but, I mean, it's an RPG, which I usually do that in RPGs, and this is my first time playing this one. So, I like talking to everyone. I'm not I'm not going to every house, because, like, you know, that's kind of boring. So, wow, I like this, uh, music. And, um, I think there's a lot of trainers we're gonna battle here. So, let me just make sure, we got, okay, let's go over our team. We got Paris Hilton, Carmel, the Paris, Carmelo, the Pidgeotto. Mike the Zubat, Hermione the Kadabra, OG Jim the Charmander, and Ducks the Farfetch, which we got in a trade last time. So, um, yeah, there's a lot, as he just said, the challenges are very restless, so there's a lot of people that we're going to be able to battle on this ship, so that's pretty much what today's going to be, just, you know, exploring the SSN, seeing what we can do. You pup, how dare you barge in, okay. That's, um, an interesting say, thing to say, nonetheless, but I can't talk, that's an interesting thing to say, nonetheless. But I don't know why I can't talk today, but he's got a Nidoran, so we're not going to stay in here with Paris. Although, pretty much, no matter what Pokemon he used, we weren't going to stay in here with Paris. But, um, it's only going to change who we switch it to, and we're going to switch into Hermione. Because, um, this thing's, even though Hermione is still, like, pretty underleveled, and you can tell by its physical defense, or her physical defense. But, Hermione's a Psychic type, and Psychic beats Poison, so this should honestly take it out in one shot. And it does, so I'm happy about that as well. Just happy about everything, because, you know, Spring Break don't have any schoolwork to do, you can just have fun the whole time, um, Coral Coral should leak in the next few days, right now it's the, um, so I don't know if you guys have been watching my uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon news series, and there really hasn't been much yet because we haven't really gotten much news yet, but, uh, somehow I've still managed to have three videos in that series, but, um, what was I gonna, here, I'm running. so, uh, Coral Coral is going to leak in the next few days, it is due to, oh no, days in the ninth. Oh, I thought today was the tent. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to use teleport there, but my friend Hiroki, who I mentioned in the last video, said he wanted me to use teleport and see what happens in battle, and I told him it would probably fail, but there you go. Are you happy now? Because I just used it by mistake, and we had to take some damage because of it, but it's not a huge deal. Although, Hermione's only level 17, and we're probably not going to be able to use her that much on the SSN because she's already getting low on HP. But actually, I think there's a bed where we can get healed, but anyway. Today's the 9th of April, I thought it was the 10th, so that's one more day I'm gonna have to wait till we get Koro Koro news. Normally, it leaks, uh, Koro Koro leaks usually anywhere from, like, the 10th to the 13th. And at the latest, I'm not a waiter, uh, at the latest, it could be the 15th, because the 15th is when it actually releases, but it usually releases from the, it usually leaks from the 10th to the 13th, usually, like, 12th, or it's usually around the 12th, so, right now it's the 9th, so, hopefully, oh, um, actually, waiter, uh, waiter, this girl over here, she wants some um, something, but oh well, I guess he doesn't really care about her. Cause she thought I was the waiter, but uh, Cruz is elegant, yeah, cozy. Is she gonna battle me? No, she's not. Um, not as many battles as I remembered, but there's still a lot actually, cause I'm only just like in the very beginning of the ship. And I already talked to that guy, so I don't know how we need to do that, but and here's someone who battled us thankfully, and there's actually a Pokeball down there, so wonder what that is. And she says she's collected Pokemon from all over the world, yet she only has Pokemon that are native to Kanto, so I don't really know. She's kind of, uh, not being very... She, and she only has two Pokemon, so either she's only gone to two places in the world and caught one Pokemon for each of those places, or she's just, just dumb, or she's just BSing us, or I don't even know. 
But I want to talk about Koro Koro because I'm very, very excited for Sun and Moon and what it's gonna, or for Sun and Moon, yeah. But that's that's not gonna come for like a while, at the end of this year sometime. But um, probably November if I had to guess. But still, like nothing. We know nothing about it, so I just really want Koro Koro to come. And I'm not sure if Koro Koro is gonna be the first thing that has information on this game because. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna switch it to Paris. Now I'm just gonna switch straight into Hermione because I don't know if Paris will be able, or if Hermione will be able to survive like a horn attack. I'm gonna switch into Hermione after switching to Paris. But um, like I don't think I, mean, I don't know actually because I really haven't been, wasn't around for or wasn't a Pokemon fan for many of the new generations. So my first game was Diamond in 2007, and like you think some people will be like, wow, your first game was Diamond. You're so so young. You're such a noob to the series. That was nine years ago when I started playing Diamond. So. That's not really the case. Then I remember when Black and White was uh, coming out, like when we were, there was news coming for Black and White, me and my cousins would always check Cerebi every day, and we were so excited for that game. And we, uh, but I don't remember like when, how we first got news of that game. Like I don't remember the first thing we found out about it, and I'm sure when that game was first announced, we at least knew something. Like actually I'm pretty sure that we knew the silhouettes of the starters before we actually knew the stars, and I don't know if that was the first thing that we knew, or what, but... Yeah, and then X and Y happened, and the, re the way I found out X and Y was pretty weird. So I wasn't, I didn't have a YouTube channel yet, uh, and I also didn't even like use YouTube that much as I do, like compared to how I do now. Like I still use it sometimes, but now I like go on YouTube every day on my phone, and I'm always like watching YouTube pretty much, probably too much. And uh, but I mean, I'm a YouTuber, so gotta be active in the community, you know. But uh, so back then I was at bas I used to play basketball. I don't play basketball anymore. I wrestle in the winter. But uh, this is what it's, no, this is seventh grade, winter of seventh grade. 2000, probably, what was it, it was probably 2013, like the beginning of 2013 when we got that news of X and Y, and I just hear my, my um, friend, who doesn't even like Pokemon, or he's never, what? Oh, that's something that's bad about this game, you can only have a, a certain amount of items, so that's, that's really dumb. Wow, that's dumb, I forgot, so, yeah, in this game, you have a limited amount of space for items. So I'm just gonna use a potion on Hermione so we can hopefully have more space. What? Oh, so it's by slots, it's not by amount. That's annoying. So yeah, in this game you can only have a certain amount of items. And, um... You have a PC where you can put your items in, which I forgot. Well, I haven't really used because that's never been in any Pokemon game that I've played. So I think I'm just gonna drop one of these items because I don't really feel like, uh, like going back, because I've been talking about it a lot, I'm just going to drop this antidote, it's not very expensive. Yes. Uh, that's annoying. So, I guess after the SSN, we're going to have to go to the PC and deposit some of our items, which is really stupid that we have to do that. I don't know, like, what was the reasoning for it? I mean, I guess it makes sense, bags can't, like, be completely full, like, bags can't be limitless, but, like, in a video game, they really can. So, anyway, I, it was, like, at basketball practice, and my friend was like, who's excited for Pokemon X and Y? But he was sort of like joking, because I don't think he even, he doesn't even have a 3DS. And he hasn't played Pokemon probably since like third grade. But I guess maybe his brother likes it or something? I don't know, I don't even know how he knew about it. Because I didn't really ask him, but... Maybe his brother was into it or something, I don't know. But then he, uh, I'm not gonna go down those stairs yet, I'm gonna go here first. Then, I, I was like, what? Like, I wasn't sure if he was, like, serious or not. So then I looked up, on, I went up on Saturday, and there it was, the first trailer for Pokemon X and Y. And, the f like... It didn't pull that Sun and Moon BS where, oh, they announced the title and the logo, but we know nothing else about the game. It actually, the first ever time us finding out about the game was Pikachu saying, Pika, Pika, and then it would like, and then it went to a cutscene. And then it, it was a full blown on trailer for Pokemon X and Y, and we got um, the starters, and we got the legendary, uh, we got um, the legendary, um, the legendary Pokemon, what am I saying? The mascot legendaries, we got those. So that was good. Um, do you hear about Snorlax? Oh, it doesn't even see. And that was a, that was a great review. This, so, Sun and Moon's trailer, this reveal trailer, not as great of a review. So, I don't understand why they're doing this, but, like, when are we finally gonna learn stuff about it? So, I don't know. That's just, I wanna talk about that. And, um, so that guy that we just talked to down there in that kitchen area, I don't think I pointed it out, but, uh, he actually mentioned animals. So, apparently, animals exist in the Pokemon world. He was like, oh, our courses, our courses are fish. Salmon and beefsteak, that was what he said, so. Yeah, that's always, I always thought it was weird that they mentioned Pokemon, oh, 
this guy shows us Snorlax. So now we have Snorlax in our Pokedex. I don't know what the point of that is, because you're going to get see Snorlax like automatically just by playing through the game. Like, you have to. It's like a plot necessary. Like, it's necessary to the plot. But, um, so yeah. I always thought it was weird how Pokemon exist in the real world. I mean, and not what I meant to say. I wish Pokemon existed in the real world. I always thought it was weird how real Pokemon... I mean, real animals exist in the Pokemon world. It doesn't really make sense. But, like, they're mentioned, like, every once in a while. And I kind of think they just shouldn't be mentioned at all and just shouldn't exist. But also, then, like, whenever they're eating, like, beef in the anime or something, or in the games, that means it's Pokemon meat. So, I don't know. But, like, why would we never see them otherwise? Like, I think they... I just think animals shouldn't exist. But also, like, in Generation 1, they mentioned animals a lot more because Pokemon wasn't really an established franchise. But now they, they don't really mention animals anymore. Although, in X and Y, in, uh, in the background of some battles, there's, like, real-world butterflies you can see, like, flying around. But that's, that's pretty weird. I don't know why they did that. There hadn't been, like, a mention of animals before that in the games since, like, Generation 2. Actually, since the Fire Red and Leaf Green games, because those were remakes of Generation 1. But, um... Yeah, I just, I don't know, I think that's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, going back, I want to go back to Coral Coral, because I want to talk about that, because there's so much stuff I'm excited for. I just, like, I honestly have expecting, though, for, uh, for Coral Coral, because, like, literally, in the last month's Coral Coral, they said, information about Pokemon Sun and Moon will be featured in the next Coral Coral, something along those lines. So, like, we have to get something, because, because, like, what are they going to say, like, Oh yeah, Pokemon Sun and Moon exists. Like, is that what, that's gonna be their information? Like the same stuff we've already gotten in the reveal trailer and uh, the the variety show that revealed nothing to us. Like, come on. But like, I don't I don't know. This is why I got to the other thing before talking about past generations, how they were revealed. Because I don't know if like I feel like it would be weird if the first information we got wasn't a Coral Coral. Like, I feel like they would want to re re uh, release a trailer. And like about the starters, and then like the next day you see them in Coral Coral, because that's what happens a lot. Like they'll reveal a trailer about something, and then it will appear in Coral Coral. But uh, I mean sometimes it's the opposite. Like they they reveal it releases in Coral Coral, then there's a trailer about it the next day. But I feel like they wouldn't want the first information about the game other than like its existence, knowledge of its existence. I, w I feel like they wouldn't want that to be in Coral Coral, where not as many people will see it. I feel like they'd rather like make a trailer, like put it on Pokemon's YouTube channel, so like more kids would see it that like don't really know what Serbia is or anything like that. But, I don't know. So, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm curious if we're gonna get, like, a trailer before Coro Coro, if we're just gonna get Coro Coro. But, either way, I am uh, incredibly excited, and I have allergies, so... Sorry if my voice is, like, weird this time of the year. I really need to, like... I might get allergy shots later this year, so then maybe next spring I'll be much better. But, anyway... Um, so, I hope we get starters. I've said this a million times. I just... We need to get starters. Like, how can we not get starters? What else? I don't know. I just, I just want to know about the game. I want a trailer. I just want something. I want something. I just am so excited for this game. Okay, I think that's enough talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon, because we're playing Pokemon Red right now. Yeah, I've talked about Pokemon Sun and Moon literally, like, the whole time. So, um, there are some stairs that we passed earlier that we're going to have to go back down eventually, because I want to explore this whole ship. But I think the way that we're going, uh, there's actually going to be a rival battle coming up, I'm pretty sure. And also, there will be um, the cut guy after that. So, just to prepare you guys for what's up ahead. Um... But yeah, then I'm gonna have to just go back and explore the corridors that I didn't already explore. Uh, that, that animation, eh, uh, wow. Critical hit, really? Wow, that didn't do that much as I thought a critical hit would do. Because critical hits are- oh my gosh. His, uh, growl does not sound good on the ears, neither does screech. But growl is just their cry, so I don't know. But, uh, maybe it just sounds a little different when they use growl, maybe it's amplified or something? I don't know, maybe it's not. But, um, yeah, that critical hit did not do that much, because critical hits are double in this game. But the new games are just 1.5 time, times, and another critical hit, fantastic. Pikachu's dead, because he was at the same level as me, so that did like nothing, wow. Good fight, ah, I feel young again, jolly good show. I am, I just imagine that guy is from Pops from Adventure Time, darn it, I, and not Adventure Time, regular show. Uh, I haven't watched that show in years, what can I drop? I can use this, I guess I want an HP up, who needs some more HP? Tomorrow you could use some more HP. Okay. And then after this, yeah, I'm gonna go, I think I have to go back to the PC and, uh, organize some of our items up a little bit. What's next? Are these guys gonna balance? No. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. He's gonna balance though, right? Nope. I, I struggled to turn left there. I, like, tried to turn left and I didn't, and I talked to that guy again. And I continued to try to turn left, but, like, for some reason, Red just would not turn left. And here's another battle. 
strong or rare Pokemon. Oh, that's another thing that I want to talk about. I don't know if I've talked about this in a video before. I probably have, so I'm gonna just talk about it for like a brief two minutes. Wow, Bra Growlithe looks really different. Um, rare Pokemon don't. No, I've talked about this before. I've talked about why I don't like breeding because rare Pokemon don't exist anymore. But he said rare Pokemon, so that made me think of that. But I've already talked about that in like one of the Mount Moon videos, I think. So I'm not gonna talk about that again. But in case you missed it, I hate breeding because I hate that breeding exists because it makes it that they don't have to provide an easier way to get into competitive battling, and it makes it so rare Pokemon don't exist. Like in this game, there's Tratini, and he was so rare in this game, but now you can just one guy needs to catch Tratini, and then you can just breed for everyone. So yeah, no rare Pokemon, which I think sucks. But I'm not gonna talk about that because I've, I've talked about that in the past. And I don't know why I didn't switch to Pony, uh, Paris. And Ponyta looks ridiculous. I know I've said this in like the first episode when we were on the title screen, but just need to reiterate: Ponyta looks ridiculous. Like that is not what Ponyta looks like. Do Ponyta's feet even have fire on them now? Like I don't know. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, well, it was a good hit. So but this is just not what I would picture a Ponyta looking like. Honestly, this design might be. Actually, I don't know. Oh, I meant to use Quick Attack, but it doesn't matter because we're faster anyway. This design might even be like better than Ponyta. I don't think Ponyta is a very good design, uh, honestly. Like even in the newer, like newer games, when it actually doesn't look ridiculous. Skade, if you did, gentlemen, I must salute you. For those about to rock. Uh, yeah, we salute you. That was a song that was in wrestling. In wrestling, so um, I don't know if you guys watch Nintendo. I mentioned this before, but Nintendo Nick. Um, he's a YouTuber, he's my feeder channel, so if you want to click on that. Um, he was on my wrestling team. We both wrestled for the first time this year. And the playlists, it was good songs, but it was like the same 10 songs that we'd listen to every day for like two, two hours, two and a half hours at practice. And for those about to rock, whatever that song was called, was one of them. That's gonna kill me. Oh no, it's not. Nice. Hopefully he doesn't have quick attack. Nice. Uh, hopefully this kills. Oh, darn. Yeah, and for those about to rock, it's one of the songs on that playlist. So that song I've just heard like a million times now. And, oh, I'm just gonna send Carmelo a quick attack, but our, we're not gonna be in great shape for our rival battle unless we can find that bed that heals us, because I'm pretty sure there is one, but I don't know for sure. Pika! I don't know who to use, I guess I'll use Hermione, because Hermione still has a pretty good chunk of her HP left, and this Pikachu's only 18, wow, so same as Hermione. Why is every Pikachu keeping the same level as Pokemon that we use? I think there was something I was talking about before. That I didn't finish. Uh, it was a thought that I didn't finish, but I don't remember. So, um, okay. So Pikachu's dead. Oh, there's actually something I want to talk about when we get to the rival battle, but I'm not gonna talk about it yet. You could darn it, because uh, so many items here. Because 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 what? I don't remember. Oh yeah, because it's relevant for the rival battle. So maybe I'll use one of these TMs. What's this? Dig. I don't want to teach any of these guys to dig, do I? Bubble Beam? Could I want to learn Bubble Beam? Not able. I keep thinking it says able, and then I just look to the left and see the not. Because it's like kind of hidden. Um, I can teach Jim can learn dig. Can I teach Jim dig? Oh, Paris can learn dig. That's interesting. But I don't want to like use it because I feel like I'm gonna, it's going to be wasted for the other one. So, like, mm, I think I'm going to teach Jim dig. I think I actually did that in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Oh, wait. Yeah, see, who can use Thunder Wave? We just need to go through all of our TMs here. Hermione can learn Thunder Wave. I think we won over won that last time. Whirlwind is just not good. I, I could drop that, honestly. Or I could do an escape rope, but yeah. Um, we already have. Why is Water Gun and Bubble, Bubble Beam both TMs? It seems like such weird moves to be TMs, because there just aren't in any of the newer games, but I guess there's nothing inherently weird about them being TMs. They, everyone can learn Bide, wow. Well. Um. That's it. Yeah, I think I'm going to teach uh, OG Jim Dig, because OG Jim does not have that many moves. Oh, what's this? Body Slam. Oh, wait, who can learn Body Slam? Um, I don't think I'm going to teach any of the Body Slam. I, might teach I would teach her to a normal type if I had like one that could learn it, because Carmel can't learn it, because it's a pretty powerful attack, but I would want to teach it to someone who gets Stab on it. So, but yeah, I think we're going to teach Jim um, Dig, because he only has Ember and... Uh, Ember and what? What else does he have? He has Scratch? Or tackle. Tackle. Yeah, but and Dig, how much power does Dig have? 80? I think it has 80 power. At least in the newer games. I don't know if it was different. So that's a pretty good move. Especially, like, you can use it on fire types. You can use it on rock types. So, yeah, I think Dig, Dig's actually a pretty good move for OG Gym. So, got rid of that TM. And now we have a rare candy, which we can also use if we find another item. Because 
we can have to drop something else, and wow, we really need to go to the PC. Um, do you want to battle us? I don't think they do want to battle us. Um... Okay. Um, I think... Are we gonna end the video here? No, we're almost at the rival battle. I think we're gonna go to the rival battle. I think this is gonna be a longish video. It's already been 20 minutes, but we're almost at the rival battle, so that's what we're gonna go to. Um... Hmm. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Pokemon. We're on low health, though. I don't know if how we're gonna be able to... You know what I could do here? I'll do this. So, I'll use my rare candy to revive Jim, because we don't have any revives yet in this game, at this point in the game, but since when you level up, your HP is raised, you can actually revive people with rare candies, but, um, I don't think we can say anything for rage, because... No! Ah! Mm. Okay, it was scratched. Good. I did not mean to do that. I meant to keep, uh... I meant to, to not learn the rage, because rage is not a very good move, but... Also, I think there's, like, a glitch about ra surrounding rage that I need to look up, because in Generation 1, I don't think rage works co correctly. But uh, we need to keep our team up for, um... Asshole. But I I'm gonna look that up after this video, and I'm also gonna look up Paris. Everything about Paris. Because I don't know when Paris evolves, stuff like that, and I kinda wanna figure that out. So, I'll actually do it after this video, because this video's almost over, so I'll remember. So, I don't think we're gonna use Hermione, because Hermione's paralyzed, so we're just probably not gonna use Hermione in this battle. And we are out of potions after this one. So we're gonna have to buy some more, and we're also gonna have to go to PC, so yeah, we got some stuff I have to do. What is it? PC, research, um, po potions, but yeah, blue's coming up, so, uh, I guess we'll lead off with Paris? Who's he lead off with? Pitchy or something? I don't know, whatever. We'll just lead off with Paris and we'll switch out if we need to. So yeah, there's Asshole. But, bonjour, Ske! Imagine seeing you here! Ske, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, pal! Different kinds are everywhere, crawling around in grassy areas. So, he says he already has 40 kinds, yet he only has, what, 4 Pokemon on his team? Which I don't understand. So, like, I like that his team actually changes as you battle him, but I think he should have 6. That'd be cool. But, um, so what I wanted to point out about this is you'll notice in a little bit that he actually has a Raticate. And then, at our, just, okay, so just take note that he has a Raticate right now. And then, next time we battle him, he's not going to have a Raticate. And I'm going to get into that next time we battle him, actually, because I think that'd be better. You probably already know where I'm going to, but if you don't, stay tuned till next Rival Battle, which will be in a few episodes from now, so, yeah. Um, Tharn, missed. Wish he hadn't sent attacked me. Maybe I should have sent attacked him, but hopefully this kills, uh, kill Tharn. Because the last one was a critical hit, so, stop! Please hit Tharn. Really? Uh... This should still kill, I think. I think Gus should still kill. Darn it, I should have started with sand attacks. That was a good idea. But I just want to kill him now, because I think I just need one more. There we go. Please hit. Come on. You got it. There we go. Okay, good. Hilton to level 17. Nice. Hilton is still very useless, but, uh... Radicate. So this is Radicate that I was talking about. Um, we'll just send in... Um, send in Paris Hilton again, I guess, and then just switch straight out to OG Gym. Paris Hilton's level 17. He's a better level than ra this Radicate. So I think Paris should be able to do this. Like, he only has two moves! Or she! Paris is so bad right now! Maybe I should have taught Dig. Uh, that's gonna do a lot. Hilton is really bad. I don't know why I keep trying to train her. Really? Why wouldn't it affect? Why? It did. It just missed. So I'm pretty sure there's no reason why. Why wouldn't it affect? Does Radicate have, like, some ability or something? I don't even. I don't even know. Does Radicate have, like, the ability where you can't be paralyzed? I don't I don't think so. I don't know. That was just poor performance, Hilton. Bad job. I guess I'll learn that when I also research about Paris. Why that didn't work? Maybe it just missed. And that's what it says when moves missed, because this game is missed when this game is because this game is done. But some, but I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Um, well, I don't know. Why it wouldn't affect Radicate. It's just a, n a normal type. And even paralyzed. You can even paralyze electric types in this game. So every type should be able to be paralyzed. Maybe it's this ability or something that I didn't know about. But he's got Kadabra as well, and we're just gonna stay in. Because, um, I don't want Jim to have to take confusion from switching in from Paris. Let's use Dig, because Dig is. If it's 80 power, like I would call it, it's very powerful. So, more powerful than even Ember with Stab. So, wow, it is very powerful, because it was a one shot kill. And also, I just realized another good reason about using Dig was because that thing has really good, uh, special defense. So, Dig is physical, so that's good. Um, I think we can just go to Jim again, and we can probably just use Dig, like again. Hopefully, we have speed, level 24. There we go. Bubble missed. 
Why is he using bubble at level 20? I can use bubble beam or water gun or something. Dig with a critical hit, that's fantastic. And that's not gonna do that much, it's just bubble. Bubble is a pretty bad move. I think it only has like 20 power. So even though it's super effective, it's still not gonna do very much damage. Uh, and that's the end of his team. So he's probably gonna say some stupid excuse for why he lost, right? Hmm, at least you're raising your Pokemon. Uh, what's this excuse gonna be? Oh, he doesn't have an excuse. I heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go. You, you should go see him. Smell ya. So I used to like try to imitate uh, Gary's voice in the anime, but that last time I don't even know where I was going with the voice. But oh well. Um. Okay. This is the captain right here. Oh, if you look in the trash can. Yuck! Shouldn't have looked. Yeah, I just wanted to figure that out. So this is the captain. Oh, I feel hideous. Oh, I'm seasick. Uh, scared. Get out of the captain's back. Yeah, so we literally just like see an old man. Or this is the most socially awkward guy, like that we play as. We just see an old man sitting there. Don't even talk to him. We just start rubbing his back. But okay. Uh, woo! Thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. You know, you can have this. So he just gives us cut. But I don't know how uh, asshole got cut because he didn't massage his back. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have need to. But we have HM cut now, so we're going to be able to. Uh, what are we going to be able to? Do? We're going to be able to. Uh, use cut and get to the third gym. So that's what we're going to do next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.